Hey everyone, not sure if you've been to the cinema recently, but whether it's the Avengers, Star Wars or Frozen 2's upcoming release, sequels are all the rage. Which is why in America the Democrats are very keen to play to their base and make a sequel to the Mueller report with a wild card and ultimately doomed to fail impeachment procedure. And as with Hobbs and Shaw, the ninth in that film trilogy, both are expected to be very popular in California and ultimately last and largely forgettable elsewhere. So what is the accusation then? Well, a few months ago, President Trump had a phone call with the President of Ukraine and afterwards a whistleblower came forward and said that threats were made, there was corruption involved and that President Trump had exceeded his authority in threatening them. Which sounds a bit like a meeting between the Thomas Cook Board of Directors and their bank. The House Democrats pushed for a full release of everything and in the end, President Trump surprised many by declassifying the whole thing, which reveals nothing took place, no threats were made, no money was promised in exchange for favours and the whole charade was frankly for nothing. Except that it plays to the base and like a poker player that's gone all in, they have to play this card to the end because they put everything on the line and unlike the Ukrainian border during Obama's time in office, that's not a line that the Democrats are willing to give up on. A lot of this is also down to the fact that the call mentioned investigating the link between a corrupt Ukrainian official and the son of Joe Biden, currently the leader in the race to face President Trump in 2020's election. This is someone that even the EU thinks is too corrupt to remain in office, the Ukrainian official that is. And maybe I've lost track of things, but the last I heard, the US government was supposed to be on the lookout for Russian or Ukrainian influence in the 2020 election. They did, after all, just spend two years and $40 million in the Mueller investigation, an investigation that turned out to be about as eye-opening as a bright sunshine when you're hungover and want to go back to bed. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, quit subscribe. Bye.